New at six, Tosa Fest is this weekend, and new changes to the popular music festival are not sitting well with everybody. Some people say those changes could keep younger people from enjoying the event. But officials argue it's about safety. Julia Fellow is live in Wauwatosa with more. Julia. Much of the controversy is over this orange fence, which will surround the entire festival grounds. On one side of the fence are the police, who say it will make the event much more safe this year. The other side argues there were no arrests last year, not even a single citation. So who are they trying to keep out? It is a family-friendly event that's become tradition. Volunteers are breaking a sweat to make way for record vendors on a new stage for its 40th year. This orange fence is a new feature that's hard to miss this year. It was suggested by police to control the crowds of teens. It's when you put them in a group together, you get a group mentality and kind of fuels the fire when they see each other and how each other act out. You'll also be greeted with another change at the entrance. Children and adults will have to wear color-coded wristbands, and any child without an adult after 3 p.m. will have to leave. It appears to be there's folks who agree with the, the concept, and there's an equal number of folks who don't seem to agree with the concept. Anyone who comes in has to show their ID, which does not sit well with this business owner. It's going to make it a little inconvenient for me when I come to work tomorrow. I just don't think there have been that many problems. I mean, there have been no arrests. This man who lives on State Street welcomes the new idea. There's been a lot of robberies all around us. Um, I think it's safer to build a gate around um, and then have a lot of police and people around just to protect the environment. Record attendance is expected. Leaders with the festival hope it will make families feel safer rather than scared. It just got underway. Many people are already getting banded with their wrists, and many people are very excited about it happening. Last year, Tosa Fest raised $16,000 for local charities. They hope you will come out this year to help double that number. Reporting live in Wauwatosa, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. Well, let's hope everybody is safe again. Thank you, Julia.